All right, guys, it's time to check out this update. We're sitting in my rig. We got the wheel. I know you can't see it. Uh, I'm eventually going to do a wheel video with, I'll get a camera over here. Um, yeah, keys to the map. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to spend money on that because we've already completed it, right? This is the new update. This is what we get. Let's see if maybe it just wasn't in the patch notes and maybe they fixed it. Maybe, just maybe. I'm not going to hold my breath. But if we get in, then they fixed it without telling us. Okay. DR1005. Still not fixed. Way to go, Today Ghost. Success. Way to go. Way to go. Oh, we're going to do bug fixes. Hmm. And now it's frozen. Cool. Awesome. Ooh, we got a store. Look at this. Fancy. Keys to the map. Five dollars. Deluxe. It's already installed. Get out of my face. Alright, I guess we're playing solo. Alright, we are in. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Whoa, whoa, hold on. What is this? What's going on here? What? What? What is this? What? Did you guys see that? Like my rep level's there, my money's there. That's, that's not good. You know, somebody made a comment on one of my videos today saying that they couldn't even play solo now. All right, it's time to look at Reddit real quick. Yo, we can't play the game? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Like, is this real? Is this real? Wow. Okay, so upon going to Reddit, um, the community manager response, there's people that are stuck on the main screen before this to even get into the game. Um, so Max said, hello there, sorry to read that. Are you both playing on Xbox? Can you provide me with the gaming tag? Also, have you tried relaunching the game, rebooting the console, removing and re-adding the gamer tag? And lastly, does it work with a different gamer tag? Somebody's saying they're on PC origin and it's still doing the same. And they're saying, oh, can you repair the game in origin? Still not working. Clear your cache. Still not working. Uh, can you check if any overlays are active? And then they're saying to unplug all USB devices and just plug in the controller. So I guess what we're gonna try here is closing the application, unplugging the wheel. All right, so we have to unplug the wheel and restart the PlayStation. Supposedly, so it seems like this is a big bug. Oh, we released bug fixes, but now nobody can play the game. It, this just blows my mind, man. Like it's absolute, it's just absolute madness. Like, really? Really? Like you're supposed to plug the steering wheel in when you turn on your PS4. You're not supposed to plug it in while the game's running. So is it even gonna work? <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Um, Max said, for everyone with this issue, could you kindly provide the following platform, what you're on, username, do you have another account active, input device connected, controller, steering wheel, both. And it's, can you try the following? There's PC and Xbox, there's nothing for PS4. So I'm assuming reboot the console and relaunch the game. Make sure the steering wheel gamepad is associated with the right account. Unplug all USB devices that only have a controller connected. Try to sign in with a different account. Delete your gamer tag from the console and re-download it. I'm not doing all that. Somebody's like, it's really amazing how this game managed to get even worse after a bug fix update. Xbox One S also stuck on the main screen too. Trying to reinstall after restarting my console and trying different gamer tag. Edit, reinstalling did not work. Restarting console, both of the button and unplugging console that also did not work. Switching gamer tags also did not work. Congratulations, Ghost. You guys are absolutely trash. Taking a game that hardly has 
any replayability as is, and then just making it unplayable. For who knows how many people is a class act. <laughs> At yourselves on the bad guys, that's exactly how I feel right now. Like, can't even play the freaking game. Press the triangle button for accessibility options. Chat is in Let's see what happens here. There it is. There it is. Well, guys, I guess uh, I guess we're not showing off Need for Speed Heat today. We're not gonna check any of these bug fixes because nobody can play the freaking game. Wow. You set out all these bug fixes, and now nobody can even get on. This is great. This is a great game. I'm I'm leaving a comment right now on Reddit with what my console and everything's going on. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm writing PS4. Online still gives me the DR1005 error code. Solo mode finishes loading the bar at the bottom and then resets me back to the lobby where you choose online or solo. First time my wheel was plugged in, unplugged it, restarted the console, tried only controller and still nothing. Thanks, Ghost. Wow. Alright, guys. So, uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is, uh, this is beyond, like... I, they spent all this time on these bug fixes and they break the game surely they must have tested this right like uh, how uh, like what what it seems to be like a lot of xbox people. i don't know if it's just xbox people commenting on the reddit post but like i saw black panther doing a ps4 wheel video today so i don't know if it's like some people and not others but like this is just absolute madness you know it's bad enough we haven't been able to play online for coming up on two months now now we can't even play solo wow hmm anyway guys uh yeah sorry there's no content in this video uh yeah thank need for speed and ea and goes for that um maybe i don't know it'll take them another month to fix it before we can get back in but um yeah Wow. Anyway, I'm going to make some videos on some other things. So if you guys want to check that out, hit that subscribe button, follow the channel, and maybe one day we'll be able to play Need for Speed Heat again. But as of right now, it's just, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.